So last week, Valtteri Bottas was involved in what might be the greatest Formula One related advert we've ever seen. I drive a very nice car. It's very fast, very shiny. But sadly, it's not built for the famous Aussie lifestyle. And I love the famous Aussie lifestyle. I love the fashion. I love the food. But mainly, I like to drive here. So this is my second car, designed for my second home, Australia. Bike rack, rod holders, roof racks, thong storage, built in pie oven, fresh water shower. Oh, hey Barrow, Walter is having a little shower too. Budget smuggler drying system, BRS, buck reduction system. <coughs> Mallet aeration technology. Check this out. That's a bird. I'm going to be busy racing my first car. So I put this baby on Uber car share. You can rent it for free because I am very rich already. Australia's home of second cars. Walter, I will miss you. So I decided to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane and have a look at some other F1 related adverts, starting with this one from Bottas's fellow Australian, Mark Webber. I, 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 I'm a Canberra milk kitch. From the time that I was old enough, my mum would pour a great big cup. And since then I've been drinking, it keeps my mind a thinking. Wherever I am, wherever I roam, the thing that always brings me home is the taste that I've been missing. The Canberra milk tradition. And that's why I keep coming back to proudly wear my milk moustache. Cause I, 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 I'm a Canberra milk kid. Now that one was very good, but my personal favourite one is this Japanese advert featuring Nigel Mansell selling a printer. The smallest in the world. Sekai saishou. The lightest. Saikei. High quality. Kogahitsu furu kara. Computer to mo network. Canon Pixel Jet. Mm, good. It turns out, though, that Nigel is down to sell pretty much anything. OK, tricky exit coming up. Good. Yeah, you've done this before, haven't you? Once or twice, but this is something else. OK, but remember, no racing starts, not good for the passengers. It takes three weeks of special training to be a London bus driver and to get a PSV licence. Then, as a driver operator, you'll earn on average over £200 a week. Are they signing you up then, Nigel? They're going to think about it. Be a London bus driver. Drive with the best. Even in 1993, when Mansell left Formula One and joined IndyCar, he was still on the top of his game when it came to advertising. Any hairy moments? Oh yeah, for a moment back there, I almost forgot the whole meal. And then even when he retired, Mansell still proves he's the best F1 driver for selling stuff. Yeah. So how much more am I paying? <laughs> Nigel, when negotiating a helping bend, you're world class. When negotiating car insurance, eh, you're British. Why pay so much? After all, you're not driving a racing car now. My uh, wife's choice. What you need is money supermarket. They do fantastic deals you can't get anywhere else. <clears throat> oh, and one last thing, champ. But I bet you didn't know that Nigel Mansell is the only F1 driver to have a trilogy of video games. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix 
Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing and Newman Haas IndyCar featuring Nigel Mansell. But the advert for Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing didn't actually feature Nigel Mansell. Instead, it featured British comedy legend Rick Mayle. Hi, I'm Nigel Mansell, and you know, I'm not the type of guy who buys his family presents that he really wants for himself. That's why I bought my wife Nigel Mansell's World Championship game from Nintendo. You have to choose the right tyres, pit stop, and race against the best drivers in the world. It's just like the real thing, and my wife loves it. Right, darling? Hi, it's uh, very realistic, Nigel. My little girls love it too. Right, twins? Not Completely off, true. Hey, even my dog loves it. Right, Fang? Woof. So, there you have it. I think it's a wonderful game, and if your family's anything like mine, they'll love it too, right, girls? Right, Nigel. Woof. Nigel Mansell, Tetsu Dojo Nintendo. And that wasn't Nigel's only advert of a British comedy legend. Here he is rubbing shoulders with Eric Idle to sell the Rover Metro. Oh! Good morning, Mr. Mansell, sir. No doubt you've come to see the new Rover Fastback. Uh, Metro, actually. The Metro, of course. A true driver's car. Handy around town? Absolutely, Nige. Words right out of my mouth. Central locking, naturally. Lots more room than you used to. And a sunroof, so you can feel the wind in your helmet. Four-speaker stereo. And Prost tip to win. Radio cassette. I'll take it for a spin, Nige. Be my guest. Come on, come on, Nige. Out you come. Yeah, safe as houses. Come on. Whoa. I don't believe it. What stupid... Nigel. Nice to see you. Oh, gentlemen, I see you're admiring the new colour-keyed bumpers. Very smooth, very chic, very sexy, very... very bumpers. Very sorry, Nigel. Murray. And that advert, as you can see, also featured Murray Walker, but this was not Murray Walker's best ever outing in an advert. That would be when he took a trip to Pizza Hut. And Damon Hill leads into the first bend. Murray. There's been a shunt. It's Hill. Murray, we're just out for a quiet pizza. Stop commentating. Sorry. Uh, the stuffed crust, please. Introducing Pizza Hut's new stuffed crust pizza with cheese baked into a great new crust. Hill's going for it. And he spun, he spun his pizza through 180 degrees. Mmm! And Hill finishes second, again! He's lost it, he's out of control! New stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut. So, from these adverts that we've seen today, it goes to show that if you want an F1 driver to sell something in an advert, you need likability. You need relatability. You need charisma. You need... Kimi Raikkonen. Holidays? No. Business? No. Friends? No. Why are you so far away from home? I have no idea. So there you go, there are some of my very favourite F1 related adverts. Let me know in the comments what some of yours are, and who knows, I might make another video on stuff like this again. Until next time though, have a good one, I'll see you then. Goodbye.